Ew, 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 ew. Why do people like to go back and, why do guys like to go back and forth between me and my aunt? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day, a great night. Today I'm gonna be doing a makeup, like follow along with me makeup story time, and I'm telling you like some of the different like great dating stories because I feel like there's so many bad dating stories, and I was like, don't you want some hear some good stuff? So I'll be getting ready, follow along, be getting ready, and I'll tell you some awesome stories. So if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and let's get in. So, I'm gonna be telling a few different dating stories, good, bad, awkward, just like tell um, all the different ones because I have some really, really good dating stories. Also, I may be looking down at the list every once in a while because, um, yes, I've made a list of like all my dates. Several years ago, um, I remembered, I almost forgot a date and so I was like, um, I don't wanna forget some of these. So then I started writing down a list. It was a really awkward one, which I won't tell you a date. That one's for a whole nother video, but. Um, all right, to start out, I am getting um, pressed powder. I'm for my foundation is Fairly Light L3 from Bare Minerals, just their pressed powder. And I first just do one layer and then move it over here, but I won't really talk probably as much about my makeup um, today, but I'll kind of tell you what I'm using, you know. Um, alrighty, um, 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 okay, stop. <laughs> alrighty, so, first dating story um, we can go on. This one was back in high school, and I'd only gone on um, a few dates before this, and I originally asked the guy from school, um, he said no, and so I asked a different guy, um, he was more my brother's friend I knew, but like wasn't super close with. And um, so I called them up. I said, hey, because I really just wanted to do this double date with a friend. And so I called them I called them up, set all up, and I said, hey, you bring a friend, I'll bring my friend, and we'll do dinner. And I might have had them bring something else. I don't really know. We're gonna play a bunch of like yard games and stuff at um, a park. So I was really been wanting to be really, really old school. So what I had planned is like fried chicken, chocolate cake. I'm sure there were sides and everything. Okay, just trying to fix some of the lighting because it was like really making me white. Anyways, I am white, so that's gonna make sense. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I think it's like it was all. Um, why can I not talk? It was all themed off of like Follow Me Boys. I love watching that. That was so cute. She made him fried chicken and all that. So I was like fried chicken and all the different sides and the big chocolate cake. So I made this whole thing, set it up. And so I, the, what I had said and what the plan was is I was going on a date with a guy I asked because he seemed pretty nice. And I was like, I want to get him to know him better. And then his friend was going to go out with my friend. So we show up to the park, they showed up, and we start eating. And it starts to feel like the other guy is coming towards me, and the guy, my friend, my brother's friend, was going after my friend. And so we continue like on the date. We ate the food, it's really good. And um, we played games. I think we played. Bocce? I know we climbed in trees. Did we do Nerf Wars? I don't really remember. This was way back in high school, but me and my friend talked after and we're like, I think the guys got confused of like who was going after who and what was going on. So still not for sure to this day who the guys thought they were going after, but nothing ever happened and it's like a quick high school thing, but it was fun nonetheless, you know? Oh, we could talk about my very first date, which was <laughs> good, but also kind of awkward towards the end. So, oh, also I'm using, let me, I'll show you the lid in a second of my face powder I'm using. So, first date, um, I did wait until I was 16 to go on my first date. That's kind of like a rule um, I followed. My family kind of does it, and my church, it's not like mandatory, but it is kind of like a good, um, guideline. So I didn't go on my first date until I was 16 and it was my best friend who had asked me out. So he came, picked me up. Um, I remember we went and got 
Um, pizza, the pizza was like really, really good. It was so, I, I really loved the pizza. Um, that was pretty normal. We went bowling after, and we'd been to the bowling alley like several times because we were, were friends and we'd gone there a lot. So that was really fun. I don't really remember all the details. Oh yeah, um, the face powder is Airspun Loose Face Powder Translucent Powder Coverage. So next I'm using the Tardius Glow um, Pro Go for my concealer and all that. Not concealer. For contouring. Another C name. So, <laughs> oh, what was I going to say? Okay, so we went bowling, and that was pretty normal. Like, nothing crazy happened. But, um, so we did that. Um, I don't think we did anything else on that date, but this is where it kind of got awkward. So, <laughs> what, what had happened is, and I knew this was going to happen, but, um, so I went on the first date, and while this was all happening, my family had gone camping, and it was only up the road from where uh, my parents live, because they live out in the middle of the country, and it was just like some property or some family land that they went out on, and went with a couple friends. But, somehow in that process, I thought they were going to be home, or we thought they'd be able to contact us or something, but I get back, and the doors are all locked, and I didn't have my key on me, I couldn't find a... Like, I couldn't find any spare key that we may have had. I don't know, like, I, yeah, I couldn't find, I, we didn't have a spare key. We didn't have a spare key. Why do I keep saying that? Spare key, spare key, la la la. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I couldn't find a spare key anywhere. So we were like walking around the house. I was trying to call my parents and literally I could like, I knew right where they were. I could see them in the distance um, because it's pretty open plains. We don't have trees around here. But, well, I can't see them, but I think I could see, like, the camp trailers. And so, we're trying to get in contact, couldn't, and then they're finally like, okay, we'll take you up there. And what we were nervous, oh my gosh, this is what I forgot. I'm pretty sure we were in, like, a very, oh my, God, yes. That was why I think we were nervous, because we were in, like, a super big van. Like, 16 passenger van is, I think the other guy had, was driving not my date and they had a giant van and so they're nervous about taking that up so we finally decided let's just go and they'll just drop me off that way so we get up to camp um, I'm using the NARS deep throat um, blush so we get up there and my whole family is there so my mom my dad all my siblings and two other of my like close family friends were there with all their kids and like there was one my there was like two girls kind of around my age everyone had been like pushing for years for us to go and everyone was super excited to see us go on this date which is all great like that they're excited but literally the van runs up and everyone comes and swarms the car and they're like freaking out and all like how to go how to go I'm just like I just want to say goodbye to him like this is our first date it's like so awkward as like I can't even get any privacy so I try to say goodbye as there's like five trillion little kids running around and everyone and then they left and everyone was like did you guys kiss like blah blah and I was like how do we even kiss you guys literally ran out to us like there was no time I'm like it's literally still light I'm like oh my gosh uh, that part I was kind of mad and so it was, it was the most awkward thing to be greeted by a million people all asking how it went and you're like well what if it went bad and now you guys are all asking and I can't say anything in front of him but no it did go good just the ending was a little a little awkward Ooh, what's another good date? Oh. Yeah, this is kind of a funny one. So, um, this guy, um, so he's serving a mission for my church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. 
And he'd been serving his mission here. He'd gone home several months later, came back. Like, I think I kind of knew him because he was teaching here, but we were never, like nothing definitely ever happened. I, I was still in high school, but by the time he like came back, I was out of high school. And so he asked me on this date and I was like, okay, I'll go. Like, I don't remember what my feelings were really at the time. Like, I don't, I know I didn't like, wasn't super set on him or anything, uh, but I was like, I'll just go and try this out. Like, whatever, like it's, it's fun. Like, what? yeah. So, go on the date. Um, I remember feeling awkward, but it was mostly because I had this cardigan and I realized that there was like a sweat stain and so I was like just trying to keep my arms shut. Still have that cardigan. I don't know why, like I love it and it's adorable, but it just shows stuff. Like, I don't know if other girls struggle as much, but like during the summer, I just get, like I want to be sweating and suddenly I look down like sweat stains on my shirt. I'm like, why? So, like that's not the awkward part. Like some of these, you know, these dates are like normal. They're fine. And then it's stuff that happens after. So. I go, we go on the date, we end up leaving. I think I actually met him because at the time I had moved back down to my parents after. So, was it th this long? Yeah, so, um, right after high school I would moved out. I lived out on my own for a year and then moved back with my parents for different reasons. No, hold on, another story. So, moved out on my own. So I kind of went all the way back up into town to do this. So we end the date, everything's fine. Like, I don't think much of it. Um, I think he tried to message me and I just like wasn't interested, but I was still being nice. And then, this is where the awkward part comes in. Oh, also for eyebrows, I just use a Maybelline um, Natural Smokes little palette and just use the darkest color down here. And for, ooh, what should I want to do, you guys? Little, little thing. Um, do I want to go sparkly? I'm going to be filming like a little like fun video later, so I'm trying to decide. Yeah, so I'm going to be using a mix of the Festival palette from Pure, the Butter London palette. I don't know which this one's. Oh, it's called Natural Goddess. And then I'll be using the Maybelline Nudes palette um, for my eyeshadow. I kind of just mix, and I don't really know what I'm going to do for this look, but... Those are the three I'm gonna be using. So a couple days later, um, I, I, we might have talked a little bit. I don't really know all that consists of that. But I do remember, this is this is the part that's really funny. So we're kind of just talk. I think, no, I think he's just like, hey, how are you? Blah, 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 says a couple of things. And then he's like, can you set me up with your aunt? My aunt! <laughs> Oh my gosh, so my aunt is like six years older than me. She's not married at the time, she was not. And we lived by each other. I don't think he, I don't even know how he knew her because he, she didn't even live down here and all that. And I'm like, my aunt, really? So needless to say, um, I never messaged him back. I Maybe I said one thing politely like, I, I think I probably did respond like something nice and then ended it there. And I think over the years actually, he's tried to reach out to me to have like conversations and I've just ignored them. I know maybe she'd be a little nicer, but I was like, no, that's the most awkward thing. And yeah, that's how that went. So, the next one I wanna talk about, going along with my aunt, you know, we'll go with that theme. <laughs> um. Yeah, so we actually, we had lived by each other right across the hall um, when I had moved out. Um, and this was not, this is not necessarily a date, but it can go definitely in that realm. So, we lived across the hall, we were in the, going to the same church and everything. Um, and I say that is because in our church we have different wards, and so like our, well, and with the, pretty much just like the congregations are like that. So... We uh, were the same words and everything. I didn't really know a lot of people. She was in their place first, and so I knew my roommates, and I also was going through a tough time and just wasn't making a lot of friends at the time. 
So we kind of knew a lot of the same because I'd hang out in her groups. But this guy, I don't even know how either of us really knew him. I think he was just there and blah, blah, blah. So I think as far as more like I was just, fr I was no, I was just friends with him. I didn't think much of it. Oh my gosh, there was a date actually in this. So that's how, it, oh my gosh, it's all coming back. It's all coming back. So first, um, we had met, I think we may have been in the same calling, so doing the same thing at church and helping each other out with something. So we were called by our bishop, which is like our preacher, and to work on like a committee. It was like after, or at the end of Sundays, we would get together and do stuff. He may have been on there. Maybe we just knew each other. I don't really know. But I remember we had talked and message, and this was before the new... Captain America, I think Captain America 2 was coming out, and it came out on DVD, I went and bought it, and I was like, look what I got, because we had talked about that at like a conversation, I remember, I think like that Sunday before, and I was like, hey, I got it, and, and because we were originally talked about getting a, like a group together to have a movie night, and so that's what I thought the plan was, but then we're like, hey, let's just, um, and then I told him I got the DVD, just kind of joking. Not joking, but being flirtatious, blah, blah, blah. Because I kind of had interest in him at this point. And then he's like, oh, why don't I come over and we can watch it? And I, or I think we're first going to do it his, but his roommates were there and all that. So we ended up going back to my apartment. So we ended up going back to my apartment to watch it. And he's like, can I use your bathroom? And I was like, sure, whatever. And then he's there for like 10 minutes. <laughs> and kind of just waiting, he comes back. But throughout the whole entire movie, he just kind of kept going back to the bathroom. And it was just like really awkward because like it wasn't an official date. I didn't really know him. And it was just like weird. I'm like, if you're having like bowel issues, maybe we should not do this today. Like that was in my mind. I definitely didn't say anything to him. to him, so <laughs> don't worry. I, was, I wasn't trying to be rude or anything. And that's all I really remember. I don't remember much from it. I think he definitely had tried to have conversations after. I wasn't really interested. I realized after kind of just having more conversations with him as I was not interested. So I moved on. Several months later, I still go to the same church. That's where like, I mean, yeah, we knew him. Stuff had happened, and I knew he had been showing interest in my aunt. I think we might have talked about it, and I was like, "Good, you can take him away." Like, I uh, know. So she asked. So one day, though, I get a call, and he'd asked me on a date. I think to go corn maze or something. I don't really know what it was. I honestly don't remember what he was asking because I said no. So, thought that was the end of it. Called up my aunt, I was like, guess who asked me on a date? And it was this guy. And my aunt's like, no way. She's like, he just asked me on a date and I told him no. And I was like, oh my gosh, we both just denied him. And I was like, okay, whatever, like blah, blah, blah. Thought that was the end of it. We kind of laughed, it was funny. I am just like, you're going after my aunt. You're going after me, then my aunt, then me. Like, you gotta pick one. You can't go between niece and nephew, like, niece and aunt. It just doesn't work that way, dude. It doesn't. And. So. Oh my gosh. You know the whole thing where it's like, you cannot keep your mouth closed with mascara? You wanna see me do it? Proving the internet wrong! <laughs> Don't. Okay, we're gonna move on from there. So I thought that was the end of it. She calls me back. Five, ten minutes later, he had asked her again <laughs> on a date. So the same date, my aunt, he wanted to take. She said no. He calls up me. I say no. He then contacts her again. And I don't know if we were calling, they were calling or texting us at this point. I really don't know if that was what he was doing. Um, but then reached back out to her for that same exact date and she's like said no again I'm too busy like I have to get stuff done like I think she had homework and different stuff 
I don't remember why I couldn't or why I didn't it could have been both but he went back and forth I'm just like dude you gotta you gotta pick one or the other and go after it you can't be going back and forth no matter what our age length especially in the same day oh my gosh yeah you just cannot go back and forth so me and my aunt needless to say with our ages being close have had very we have had a couple run-ins with like the same guys so I do think those might have been the only ones I can remember definitely would be in the same place there was like guys where I'm like oh he's kind of interesting and I, and I could see interest and she was the same but I'm sure it's all good but I also don't remember a lot of details but I remember those two things those very awkward things why do people like to go back and why do guys like to go back and forth between me and my aunt luckily she's married now we do not have those problems she's cute little baby um but yeah all right here is my finished makeup look so hopefully you guys liked watching this I know it's probably really really long but there is my makeup look it's just like uh, this is like a nicer one for sure because I'm going to film a video for my dating show today I'm gonna do like a big like come apply so if you guys actually well, why we're talking about that if you are single in the like Utah County area around Provo or kind of want to come down you can apply below it's Provo's matchmaker I have a dating show I put on where I set people up on blind dates and it's been really fun so I'm gonna go film something for that so this is kind of like a nicer fancier look a lot of time in quarantine I've definitely not been doing this nice but I, I need to you need to dress up sometimes so that's what I encourage you to do Anyways, I uh, am gonna go off and do that. So I'll see you in my video next week. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below what you want to see next. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, great night. Bye. I love you.